cue points are very important to stay organized while you're DJing. And in this video, I'll show you everything you need to know about setting and organizing cue points in DJ Pro for the Android. To set your cue points, you're gonna have to open your feature button and there it's gonna be down to the bottom left or bottom right. And since we're using the Android version and we only have classic mode, I would recommend opening your waveforms here so we, we could see our waveforms and see where we're setting our cue points. And then also we could use these waveforms as a jog wheel because when we hit our settings, we're gonna lose our jog wheel. In, this, in the features section, there's neural mix and then cue points is the second one over. So we're gonna go to cue points. So here we are in cue points and we get up to 16 cue points. So if we press these three dots over here, we could either do one through eight or nine through 16. So now I'm in nine through 16, and then we could we could switch back by pressing the three dots. A little bit hard because I keep hitting the edit grid, but that might just be because I have a smaller screen Android device. So it might be easier on a bigger screen, but that's how you get to one through 16. So you could set up the 16 cue points and cycle through like that. So to set a cue point, we're gonna find out where we wanna set our cue point. I'm using DJ Pro's scratch track that they give us by holding in the music select button and then we will get scratch tool right there. So now I'm gonna press one. Once you press it, press it it's gonna set and it's gonna give you two things automatically. It's gonna give you the time in the song that you set the cue point. So that's at 0.01 second and it's gonna assign a random color and you have up to 16 colors to choose from. So to edit it, you're gonna press this pencil button here. Once you press the pencil, you'll get a drop down menu and then you'll get an X and the X is going to delete it, drop down menu, and then now we can name it. What I would recommend you do is every song that you plan on playing and adding to your playlist, mark a start cue point, a place in the song where you will wanna start. It doesn't have to be every part where you're gonna to wanna to start, but just a good part to start so when you load up the song, you'll see your cue point. So now we're gonna name this start and you can name it whatever you want, whatever you want. Remember these cue points are just gonna be for you to see, no one else is gonna see these. And then for me, it would make sense to put the start in green. So now whenever I load up this song, even if I exit out of the app, open the app again, change different songs. When this song is loaded, I'm gonna see my cue point in a couple places. Obviously I'm gonna see it in the cue point bank. I'm also gonna see it up here in this waveform that represents the length of the song. And then you're gonna see the cue point in the waveforms. And the really cool thing, if you're using an RGB enabled controller like the Reloop Buddy, you could actually see the colors change on the pad. So as soon as you load up the song, you'll see that's my green cue point and that's where I like to start. So it says start and it has green and then you'll see the green on the waveforms. So now let's do another one. Let's say we wanted to end the track here. We're gonna mark our cue point and then we're gonna change it to end. And I would have already, I would have made it red. It was red automatically. So there's red. So I know when I load up my songs, green is go, red is stop. And I know where I'm mixing in and where I'm mixing out. But what are you gonna do with all the other cue points that we have? You could mark your cue points on certain words. So here, 13 seconds in, the scratch sample says word. So for this one, I'm gonna name it word. So I'm gonna know which word is loaded up. So we have word. So now whenever I open my cue point bank, I'm gonna see, oh, word. Do I wanna use that sample or lyrics in the song? I like to do a lot of wordplay mixes where you mix songs together based on similar lyrics. So this is perfect for it with your cue points. And then now to delete it, we have the X button. So you press the X button and you'll delete it. And a good trick is a new feature that we have is down here. It says Nero Mix, but once you press it, you have a drop down menu. And now we could change it from either Nero Mix, Effects, or Skip. So if you're setting cue points, the skip is very helpful because now, let's say I wanted to set my cue point 16 beats in. Press the drop down menu, have it set for 16 beats. And then now you just press it once and it's 16 beats. So there we go, we have 16. So that makes it really easy. Before they did that, you used to have to go over here to 
edit grid and then go to skip, but you weren't able to see the cue points at the same time. But, but now they put this new feature in because if you're skipping, you're gonna be setting your cue points and you could do it from the same screen. So that's everything you need to know about the cue points in DJ Pro. And if you wanna see my full beginner tutorial, check out this video over here. Thank you.